For the many of us who love Lake Huron and Georgian Bay, 2012 was a brutal year. It showed us just how serious low water levels can get on our lake. And it was really bad. What's worse, the long-term models suggest that if no action is taken, water levels will trend even lower over time. Governments have commissioned studies, and they've been given specific advice. But they haven't responded to that advice, and we haven't seen any action. Many of us have felt powerless, resigned to the fact that there is nothing we could do. That we just had to stand by and watch our heritage slip away. You will hear that water levels have recovered this past year, and they have. 2013-2014 was the coldest winter in Midland in 67 years, with the most ice cover and precipitation in decades. And this has returned 45 centimeters of water to the lake. That's a gift we should all be thankful for. But before you conclude everything is back to normal, consider that while our region experienced this unusual cold, everywhere else on the globe experienced hotter than normal temperatures this winter, with March the third hottest March ever recorded for the world as a whole. The bottom line is that it seems unwise to bet on cold weather solving our water level problems over the long run. Stop the Drop was founded on the belief that the public's opinion does matter. That if enough people come together to voice their concern about what's happened to our lake, that voice can and will be heard. Over 21,000 people joined Stop the Drop's online community over the past year. Folks who wanted to do something about the water level situation and wanted to have their concern heard by their elected representatives. So, is this all having any impact? Absolutely. Since the public began showing up earlier this year, we've had more attention on this issue than ever before. And leaders from across the spectrum have been coming forward and calling for action. So I represent this community, and this issue is very important to the community, and we need to get action on it. There's finally been there's some movement at the higher levels, but we just want to spur them on and encourage them to continue this, to come up with a solution. So I want to show um, Ontario and Canada that this is a big issue to us, um, and that we want something to be done. We want our leaders to take leadership. We want, we want changes to be made to protect this beautiful lake. It's imperative that politicians like myself, leaders in our community, are paying attention and in fact are pushing for action. It's why I've worked with Stop the Drop. I want to ensure that we're actually moving from the talk and the theory to what's really going to have an impact. The bottom line is this. If you care about Lake Huron and Georgian Bay, you can sit tight and hope for the best. Or you can register with Stop the Drop and join 20,000 other people who are doing something about it. Remember, you can make a difference. Thanks for caring.